social media for decorating ideas, especially when you can peek at the homes of celebrities. So, Shai, you found inspiration yeah. by the uh, Instagram account of Chrissy Teigen, who, I mean, people are loving this woman online. Yes. She's just so cheeky. So, he's going to show us how to spot the decor that you can include in your own home. So, just you take some of that inspo and put it in your own home. We've got great pictures from her account. Yeah, so here's the thing. Like, we look at their accounts. There's always, like, a subject, and it's usually about them. Yeah. But let's look past <laughs> the subject yeah. and see kind of their surroundings to be inspired by their home. So let's pull up the first photo. Okay. So, Trace, what do you see in that photo? I see skeletons. Skeletons, okay. <laughs> Sitting on a sofa. That's what most people would see, but I look past that. I see the wood paneling in the walls. I see the artwork. Okay. I see the sofa. Yes. Let's look at the next photo. All right. The next photo, what do you see? Oh, sweet baby Luna. There she is. She's yeah. sweet. But hey, let's sweet. look at what, what's behind Luna. Okay. <laughs> There's concrete fireplace. Yeah. There's beautiful brass details. There's that faux shearling rug. Yeah. And then finally, the last photo, which is super inspirational. What do okay. you see? I see Chrissy Teigen. Well, She's on the counter. She is. And you know, my gay eyes look right past her. And <laughs> I can see the beautiful detail in the blues, the jewel tones. So, you know, I see past that. Right. And that's what I I want the viewers at home to understand yeah. is look past the subject and kind of look at the surroundings. Maybe the things yeah. that they don't want you necessarily to see, but be inspired by that. Okay. They've hired designers. I promise you to design they those have. homes. Get that free design advice. Nice. So what have we done here? We've recreated that look, but of course not what they paid for it. Let's start off <laughs> with, with the walls. So these are beautiful panels that I had my carpenter R&T custom cabinetry just cut them. So they're good. Pan, they're, th these are wood panels that they would make cabinets out of. Yeah. He's done them to the size and put them up on the wall. Easy, inexpensive, looks fantastic. Looks incredible. And these are not the wood paneling we grew up with. No. This <laughs> is sophisticated. Right? This is like Lovely. 70s, but done right. Right. And that is kind Coming yes. back now. Yeah. So, okay, the artwork. Now, she had uh, in her space beautiful artwork on canvas, whites, blacks, neutrals. Yeah. This, of course, is from Castle Life, as is uh, the rest of the furniture, but this is done so easily. So, you can buy a piece like this, yeah. or you can be that DIY person and go out and buy a canvas and throw some splatters on there. Oh, yeah. Throw totally. it up on the wall. Looks amazing. I think it's a great way to do yeah. art. You know, if you don't have the budget to really invest, you can make your own pieces, and then it's got a story and it's, you know, Absolutely. personal to you. Absolutely. All right, let's get down to the sofa. It's lovely. So her sofa, what I noticed in it was it had a plinth. So a plinth is a wood base on the bottom. Okay. Now that can be quite expensive, that look. But yeah. this Art Deco look here is something a little bit more affordable, something that's a little bit more accessible because you see it a lot. Mm -hmm. So it has that same kind of wood detail around it. And it's beautiful because it frames the sofa so nicely. It does. It looks luxe. Right? And then it has this beautiful linen detail on it. Whether it's real linen or not, it has that linen look. But it's just really light and elegant. Elevated. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. Now, it looks like you got, I don't know if you were going to the rug next, but it yeah. looks like you got the rug from her Instagram. <laughs> Basically. Um, so this looks the same. So this is a really popular look right now. It's that kind of that faux fur, faux shearling with yeah. the geometric on it. Super popular right now. No, this is actually from Atelier Nomad. Okay. And you can, you know, find these really anywhere, but, you know, you want to do it in a right way. So if you notice here, the lines, the geometric is in a more neutral brown. You mm -hmm. can find blacks, you can find navies, depending, of course, on what your uh, colorways are that you're looking for. Lovely. Yeah. Let's get over to the plant situation over yeah. there. So she had a lot of Asian inspiration in the second photo mm -hmm. with her daughter. And a great way to do that, of course, is to bring in beautiful plants like this one from Dynasty. But it was also about the concrete. So okay. concrete planters are a great way. I mean, if you have, you know, tens of thousands of dollars to do a beautiful concrete fireplace like she has, <laughs> good for you. Go for if it. If not, then of course concrete planters or small pieces easy to do, looks fantastic as well. Yeah, because it's, it's about getting inspiration. It's not about emulating exactly what is there, exactly but it's the idea right. of the concrete with the wood and that all put together. Yeah, and then, you know, speaking of the wood, so mm -hmm. these uh, side tables, she had a beautiful, big, them. almost uh, natural looking coffee table, mm -hmm. really expensive. Instead, again, Castle Life got some uh, side tables, paired them together, yeah. and it looks really curated, which is really nice. That's right. Did yeah. you actually do that yourself? Are they sold separately and They're you put them together? Yeah. Because I love them together. Yeah, it's absolutely. Great. And it's functional because you're going to pull the pieces when you need a drink on that side or you, you got have it. guests and you need a table on this side. You got it. It makes a lot of sense. And then let's finish off with oh, the light, I love of that course. Fixture. Yes. She had that beautiful organic piece. Yeah. We found this from Carousel. This almost looks like origami. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love the way that it's almost that. that brush gold detail and it really just makes the room complete. It is so beautiful. Thank you for giving us that inspo. So